Hi guys, and welcome back. We are the Crystals. Last year, we sold all of our stuff to live and travel in our RV full time. It was an amazing adventure, but now we're in search of our next chapter. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday. I am super excited because we actually listed the RV for sale yesterday and I basically did that so I had no other choice but to get everything finished. I do have some touch up paint. I need to get done out here, get that wrapped up. I came out and I turned on the air conditioning for the first time. We had never turned on the air. We did and it's already feeling so good. Super excited to get everything wrapped up. Tubbs was like, why did you lose it? We are not quite finished. And I was like, I know, but we just keep dragging our feet. And the best way I know how to get this done is to just do it. That's my paint up there. And I have a roller, a brush, all of it came with it. So I should be able to just knock this out tonight. I hope Chubbs knows where the green paint is. Really excited to get it done. It feels so good that it's listed. We also got pre-approved to buy a house, not a certain house, just a house in general. We might as well be prepared if something comes on the market because things are selling so fast, like less than 24 hours. We would like to make it through summer here, but if a house that we want and like comes up for sale, we just wanna be able to get it if that's what we wanna do. Anyways. Two days later. And I'm back. It is Sunday morning, not Friday night. <laughs> I started to do this vlog on Friday night. I was gonna come out here, I was gonna paint, and then it didn't happen. Then on Saturday, yesterday, I was gonna come out here and paint. I had a whole bunch of plans, didn't happen. Now I'm actually here, it's Sunday. My goal is to get it all freshened up, ready to go. So I need to touch up a few places. For example, this corner, a little bit beat up gonna touch that up. The paint did way better than I expected. This hallway right here, for example, I was super worried about this piece and this one right here. I was worried that those were going to peel easily. Not at all. Didn't, nothing came off of those. They stayed in great shape. Those were honestly the two most worrisome spots. I almost regretted not putting in wallpaper there because I was so paranoid it was gonna peel, but it didn't. Places that I worried about, Nothing happened, the cabinets were fine. It held up pretty well. I cannot complain that much at all. I'll probably have to do a coat or two knowing what I know about painting this thing. It usually takes a couple coats. I am anticipating that. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this paint. We'll go ahead and get started. So we have this paint. This is the paint I use. I ordered this. I got all of this from Beyond Paint Online. This is supposed to be like a primer and paint in one. It did take several coats. I'm just not even gonna lie about that. We're not gonna go into that. If you wanna see about the renovation, you can go back. Now this is very small, small brush. Not what I was expecting, but it's kinda of stiff, so that's good. Now I have this rolling thing. I hope that this will work. Let's go ahead and go get a sheet from inside the house. Here's the top sheet from our new sheet, so I'm just gonna use this. What, baby? I'll be back, honey. I gotta get this done. I don't know where the green paint, I, I should have asked Chubbs, but I'll ask it later. Until I get the white done, there's no sense in doing anything with the green. I'm just gonna use this to make sure I don't get paint anywhere. Break this box down. All right, officially now, let's get started. You take my love for granted. Just being nothing 
painting is not near as bad as I initially thought it was at all. There's just little spots here or there. I would say, at first I was saying I didn't like this paint, but now I think I do. Really the only spot in here that needs touched up is these drawers. As you can see like where they close. We put these in really fast because we were in a rush there at the end to get the drawers and stuff in so we could start moving stuff out here. So we probably should have let this dry a little longer. As you can see like right there. That's kind of our fault, not the paint's fault. It didn't really have time to dry. So I'm just really touching up those areas. But in here there's really not a lot. I'm almost done with the first coat and I'll probably have to do a second coat in some areas. The white looks so fresh and clean. I am so excited for this. It's going to look so good when it's all touched up. Fresh coat for our new family that's going to move in here. I'm super excited for that person. They're going to be have so much fun. I remember how excited I was when we got this RV so I can only imagine what the next family is going to be like because the renovation part of this was the worst and hopefully the next family they just have to you know move in make it a little bit their own. I have paint on my lens now. Oops. it. I am finished with the first touch-up coat. May not have to do another one. I don't know. It'd be nice just to be able to send this, you know, with the new owners and then they can just have it for when they need to touch it up. This is the corner I was showing you earlier. There was like the mark right there. Can't see it. So that's really good. I think this looks really good. The whole thing looks good. I love this RV. It's my favorite. I'm going to be so sad to watch it go, but I'm super excited for the next chapter in our lives to see what that entails. I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to go clean up. I'll chat with you guys here in a little bit. The kids took a bath. Now I am starting to work on my vlog for tomorrow, editing this. The kids are eating popcorn. They took baths. I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I've had the best vlog week I've had in a really long time. I'm extra motivated. It feels good. I'm loving it. Many hours later. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and update you guys real quick before I say goodnight that we did list the fifth wheel on Facebook Marketplace and RVTrader.com. We got a very great lead today from someone in Atlanta. They are a potential full-time, part-time family. They want to live in their RV about 50% of the time and then their residents 50% of the time. They are testing an RV out at a campsite at the end of this month. Then they will be making their decision after that. Full-time RVing is a very, very popular trend right now. And so lots of people are out there looking for RVs just like ours, especially our floor plan. It is very popular. We love it because of the large living area and then the two separate sleeping spaces for kids. The person I talked to today in Atlanta, we'll see what they think. I don't know. No matter what, the whole situation's in God's hands. I reminded Chubbs of this, that last year when we sold everything and we went into this whole process that we're in now, we decided to start taking things one day at a time. That's what we're making sure we center ourselves in and get back to during this process is taking it one day at a time. One day at a time will get us to our goals of getting rid of the RV, potentially the truck, I don't know. We're still kind of up in the air on that. Chubbs really loves that truck, so he's kind of on the fence of keeping it or not. No matter what happens, it's all in God's hands and it's one day at a time. Whatever house we want, all of those next steps, we're just going to trust in God and then let it happen how it happens. So <laughs> that may have been a little long rant, but we had an amazing weekend with our family. We're so excited for life to unfold ahead of us and the journey ahead. I'm so excited you guys are here. If you enjoyed this vlog, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to continue following on our journey. Super excited to have you guys join us and we'll see you next time. Bye!